Hello, folks, I'm going to continue this here with Roll 5 Production and next part of Yender Bender. <laughs> Actually, how many clips are you in uh, the Yender uh, Bender playlist now? Because seriously, I have done a lot of them and I'm pretty much uh, all of them in the same playlist. I don't care to make separately playlists for all of them. Start recording right here. As I was waiting for Lynn in the hallway, I noticed Dan stepping out of, the, of her office. I had a bit of uh, empathy for Dan now, I only had giant boots for a few minutes now, but uh, the poor girl had been uh, busted for the very beginning. All things considered, she was hang handling things really well. I didn't uh, have to question her choice uh, of material though. What the earth was she wearing? Hey, Yale. Hey, Dan. Um, what are you wearing? This? Oh, Lena bought it for me. I didn't want to wear it, but she pretty much forced me to. I look ridiculous, don't I? Yeah. But I have uh, to admit you look cute. Like, super more. No. No? What if I? No. Never mind. Hey, um... Your boobs, were they always uh, as big as mine? Oh, you got Lynn to think uh, for... You got Lynn to thank for these. What happened? They were, they were testing the serum to return back to normal. I expect it didn't work at all. It just made my boobs bigger. Seriously? That's hilarious. It's not funny. I'm beginning to think Lynn did it on purpose. No, Lynn didn't do it on purpose, but Dina would. She is fucking crazy. No, I doubt that. I talked to her yesterday and she was, uh, feels really bad about all this. <coughs> she wouldn't willingly put you through any more uh, trauma. I'm sure this was just a simple accident. They probably waited out the serum wrong or something like that. If you say so. Hey, I was wondering, yeah? You got really big boobs too, right? Well, yeah. How do you stop the, you know, jiggling? You don't. Oh. Dina bought me a bra which uh, has been helping, but it doesn't stop the jiggling completely. It's really distracting. And it's gonna to take me ages to get used to. It must be even worse for you. You only just got your own pair of mega boobs. Have you thought about buying a sports uh, bra or something? I'm not buying a bra. It might help, that's all. I'm afraid boob jiggling is just something you're going to have to get used to. Unless the others can figure out a way to change us back. They're better. I know you feel uh, how you feel. I really want to change back too. Although I think Dina and Lynn are uh, kind of en enjoying their new bodies. Yeah, I got uh, that impression too. To each their own, I guess. Anyway, I got some more simulations I need to run. I don't know if I can help with anything, but feel free to visit if you need someone to talk to. Thanks, Dan. I keep that in mind. After a few minutes, Lynn returned with some uh, bandages she had found in the medical cupboards. Actually, that looks really weird, but it's kind of good. Actually, that would be a good picture for the clip. Let's see, what part of them? Yeah. Uh, with Lynn's help, I tied back my boobs and tightened as uh, uh, tight as possible. Could It wasn't perfect. I still had noticeable bulge under my clothing, but... It was a lot better than letting them hang out. It'd be obvious that I was hiding something if someone saw me up close, but I didn't really have any any other options. At least the bandage didn't hurt my breast like the old t-shirt I used this morning had. 
If everything went uh, according to plan, I'd be able to get through class tomorrow without anyone noticing my human boobs. And uh, and then I turn back to normal the following afternoon without anyone finding out about this embarrassing experience. That is, of course, unless Winter told everyone. If she actually found out. I had almost forgotten about Winter. Great. I wonder if Winter is actually a real name. There was no point spending any more time at the lab, so I decided to go home. Knowing them, if I stayed around any longer, they'd give me an even bigger boost. An extra pair of arms or something. <laughs> yeah, Dina might. I was better off just going home and playing video games all day. If they made a breakthrough this afternoon, they could always call me on my cell phone or something. <coughs> As expected, walking home was difficult, but the bandits didn't stop my boobs bunching. So, but the bandits did stop the boob bunching somewhat. But they made it really difficult to breathe. But the time I made it home, I was completely out of of breath. I wasn't looking forward to tomorrow. Upon arriving home, I locked my front door and removed my bandits as quickly as I could. They were driving me insane to the point that I decided to just spend the rest of the evening with my breast hanging out. There was only me here, so it wasn't like anyone would see me or anything. But as I started removing the band, a thought, thought occurred to me. I was alone, and I had the body of a super sexy teenage girl with the massive breasts. An opportunity like this would never happen again. Hmm, should I? I mean, this is my body now. I might as well, right? I must admit, I'm pretty curious. Kill time and watch television instead. Check out your new body in detail. Come on! What's the first thing you should do if you had a girl body? Seriously, I would... Uh, <laughs> knock the hell out of it. But, seriously. Uh, everyone... I know pretty much about girls, but even if I uh, actually more, know more about girls than some girls, but actually if I had a girl body, I would still check it into detail. Check out the new body in detail, of course. What the hell I was, uh, what hell was I waiting for? Whether I like it or not, this was my body now, and I might as well make the most of it. At the least thing, you can earn something for it, and uh, the girls you spend time with in the future would like it. I started by removing my shirt, and then I stripped off uh, and had a look at myself in the mirror. I was completely surprised to, by what I saw. Although I knew I had turned out cute, I didn't realize I was this cute. I looked incredibly uh, incredible, and I was getting turned on just looking at myself. Holy crap, is this me? Is that me? No way. I can't. I... I can't believe it. I... I'm sexy. Yeah, I'm definitely sexy. Whoa. And my boobs are even bigger than I thought. I didn't even realize my boobs got that big. And they're mine. I couldn't believe it. I was looking at one of the sexiest girls i ever seen, and that girl was me. Every aspect of my... Me oozed sex, from my long <coughs> slender legs to uh, my wide and sensible hips. I was so shocked that I spent a good half hour just staring at myself, looking at myself from every possible angle. All the, the while I could feel a moist sensation in my crotch. I had uh, looked at my vagina a few uh, times since I had Shane, but I had never looked at it in a sexual way until now. Actually, now that I think about it, I am naked hot chick and I'm all going to stare. All I'm doing is staring at myself in the mirror. I could be doing so much more than just staring. Of course. I mean, I might as well. It's my body after all. I wonder how much different it is for girls. Is it really that different at all? I guess the only way, uh, one way to find out. I should wonder that too. Yeah.
Ah, there we go. Hmm. Being a girl wasn't all bad. I woke up the next morning feeling more comfortable with my new body than I ever had. Although this body was completely different to what I was normally used to. It didn't feel so alien anymore. I was a girl now, but I still feel like me. I had spent the past two days feeling like a complete freak, but after last night I didn't feel too weird. I was a girl, but I still—I was still the same old Yale in the, on the inside. And being a girl might not be the worst uh, thing in the world after all. Despite my new uh, outlook, I decided that the best course of action would be to hide my appearance once again. It might w I might feel more confident as a woman now, but I didn't want anyone else to know that. My new gender had uh, to remain a secret. I grabbed the banners and, rece and received the day before and began to fasten them around my chest. Nobody needed to see my magnificent breast but me. Today was one of the few instances where I was glad I didn't have to have that many friends. Knowing less people meant I had less chance to being found out. And as long as I didn't bump into anyone I know on the way to class today would be smoothly. And I bet they're gonna uh, step in, uh, run into winter. Actually, there's no way you can hide that now. They're obvious now. There. That should do it. I should be able to get away with this again. Unless I bump into winter. Crap, I totally forgot about her. Ugh. After I finished disguising my appearance, I just started walking to class. Despite my fear of running into winter, I felt a lot more relaxed than yesterday. I didn't get near as many awkward stairs uh, this time. But you look more like a girl now. Like yesterday, I found a seat in the back of the class and waited for class to begin. Okay, everyone, settle down. We have a lot to cover today. So pay attention. All of the course material we cover today will be on the final exam. Now let's begin. As chapter 8 of your textbook states. The lecture was incredibly boring and being, being unable to breathe and didn't make focus on any easier. My boobs were just too big for these banners to contain. On top of that the lecture just kept talking and talking in a droll, monotone voice, and I, it was struggling to simply stay awake. I wasn't too worried about my grades, though. My biggest concern was trying to remain hidden, and so far things were going pretty well. Nobody said a um, word to me the entire morning. My daily classes finally ended, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. A boring class was, as was. As boring as class was. I had managed to get through the entire day without having my new gender revealed to everyone. And if everything went well at the lab, I'd be back to normal before the day was out. Dean and Lin might not be the most orthodox scientists around, but uh, with their super smarts of theirs, I was pretty sure they'd find a way to change back sooner or later. <laughs> no, super smart. <laughs> they just uh, f uh, <laughs> they actually just uh, been uh, studying and creating things into that for the entire year. However, my hope quickly turned to dread when I saw who was waiting for me outside the lecture hall. Hey, yeah, having a nice day. Uh, if I play along and pretend I have nothing to hide, I might just get away with this. I guess I have a, I'm having a good day. Well, that's good. Yeah. Heh. Yeah, just tell me what's going on. Huh? No, nothing's going on. Everything is perfectly normal. Yep, nothing weird or anything. Heh. <laughs> Oh really? Everything is normal, is the it? Yeah. Then why do you have breasts? 
Okay, I'm probably not going to get away with this. Uh, I don't have breasts. Yes, you do. <laughs> of course, a girl would know. You try to hide them, but I can see them uh, as clear as day. Those are boobs. No, they're not. Do I have to poke them with uh, to prove they're real? I don't know what you're talking about. Either you tell me what's happening, or I tell everyone in class what you're actually hiding under that hoodie. What was that? I, uh, I'll talk. That's better. Can, can you promise me not to tell anyone though? Of course. As long as you tell me the truth, your secret is safe with me. Thanks. But, uh, this is going to take a while. Wait, then I sat down at the patch of grass away from where anyone could see us, and I began to explain the situation to her. I didn't want to, to tell her about this, but I had no choice. I just hoped she stayed true to her promise and not telling anyone about my secret. Well, you know, uh, I've been working at Adam Pharmaceuticals doing all the lab work and stuff for the science degree. Yeah, I've been doing the same with the uh, uh, polarity lab in town. I wish I had been placed in a for in a polarity lab. Anyway, the other day there was an accident at the lab. I don't uh, know exactly what happened, but there was uh, this big explosion and, and inhaled this weird gas, which well. You turned me into a girl. Really? Like in instantly? Well, pretty much. Did I feel? Did it feel incredible? No, it hurt a lot. I seriously thought I was going to die. Like my whole body kept shifting and uh, raging as well. I was really scared. Yeah, I imagine you would be. I know. Uh, it'd be a. Uh, I'd be scared if the same thing happened to me. So are you stuck like this? I uh, I don't know. The lab uh, team keeps trying to new, new things and they keep giving me new serums to try. Just yesterday they gave me a serum that was meant to turn me back to normal. But all it did was make me my boobs grow bigger. That explains why they look even bigger today. <laughs> so were other people in the lab uh, affected as well? Yeah, they were all turned into chicks. Pretty weird, huh? I don't hear about this sort of things happening every day. That's uh, for sure. Although I'm pretty interested to see what science lab to run entirely with busted women. Women. <laughs> that would actually be fun. Hey, yeah. Can I see what your face look like under the hood? I mean, well, I guess I could. I took off my hoodie to show Winter how much I've changed. How uh, her reaction was the complete opposite of what I was expecting. Holy crap! You're so freaking cute. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. This is insane. Huh. <laughs> Man, you look incredible. You have to promise never to tell anyone about this. Don't worry, I won't. I promise I won't. You mean it? Totally, I won't tell anyone. <coughs> Thanks. You know, I really prefer the new you. But, why? She's a lesbian? That's the best, uh... <laughs> The idea I got uh, without uh, checking what she says. <laughs> I just think it suits you. That's true. I think you should consider staying like this forever. What? As soon as I can shade back, I'm going to be ba going back being a guy. I don't want to stay like this for a minute longer. Oh. Yeah, no offense, being a girl 
Being a girl sucks. When then I sat to talk for a few minutes, I was really glad that she wasn't going to tell everyone. And I have to admit, it felt good to tell someone about my predicament. It felt like I had taken a big weight off my chest. I actually think Winda was trying to be my friend and help me through this. Or help you stay like that. However, Winter caught me completely off guard a few minutes later. Hey, Yale. Yeah? Do you want to go out and go shopping or something like on a date? Huh? You asking me out? If you don't, uh, if I don't strike early, then someone cute guy in class ask you, and I never get this opportunity again. What? I would never go out with a the guy. Then go out with me. Please say yes. I have to admit, Winter was really attractive. If I had a, if I had been a guy, I would have gone out with her in a heartbeat. There was just something about uh, that hair that found incredibly cute. And mainly, I didn't really know her <coughs> well, but then again, she hadn't told anyone at Eunice that about me when uh, she suspected I swapped genders yesterday. Winda could have ruined my life if she wanted to, but instead of going that she approached me directly to find out what was wrong. For whatever reason I trusted Winter when she said she would tell and wouldn't tell anyone my secret. I think my general generally had been my best interest uh thought. Honestly, what did I have to lose on going out with an attractive girl that was nice to me? I was like my sexual orientation had changed in the last. I still, uh, I was still attracted to girls. It only changes your parents. It doesn't change who you are. Okay, maybe a little bit. And being a lesbian uh, in a lesbian relationship could be lead to some, uh, some very interesting situations. Of course, you think that. I wasn't really a girl, though. I was a guy in a girl's body. If we dated. It would be the proper lesbian relationship, and if I change back into a guy in a few days, I really let Winter down. This was a big decision. I needed to think things through before committing to anything. Hmm. Turn Winter down, go on a date with Linda. Actually, she might not be a lesbian. She might actually have liked him from uh, the beginning when he was a guy, and <laughs> now when... In He's a girl. He, she actually could, uh, <laughs> could dare to ask. Oh, or she's a bisexual. So even if it turn back to a guy later, it could be a relationship. And if it's a, and if she's a completely lesbian, it wouldn't matter. It would be pretty fun anyway. Gonna date with Winter. I decided that to take wind up on her offer, she was really cute, and I might as well make the most of the situation. Actually, going on a date might be a lot of fun. But, I, but I'm not sure we can uh, be a proper couple, I mean, I'm probably going to change back to a guy in a few days or two. Well, worry about that later, let's just see how this date goes first. <laughs> sure, but where can we go? We can't exactly get go downtown or anything. Something my someone might recognize me. Don't worry, I got an ID. Oh, just bear with me on for a minute. Okay. You're worried that people will recognize you, right? If you walk around in that hoodie, someone someone is bound to notice the giant bulge in your chest and figure out you're a girl. But your face has changed and you got really long hair. If you dish your hoodie completely and dress like a girl, nobody would think uh, twice about it. You just look like a regular girl and nobody would make the connection. They really used to be... Uh, uh, you really used to be a guy and it's the perfect plan. Actually it is. Wait, dress like a girl? Yeah, I'm thinking a cute top and maybe a skirt. There's no ma not ma there's so many possibilities. A skirt? I don't know. 
Can buy your wear my uh, hood uh, up. We could go see a movie instead. Oh come on, it'd be fun. What do you say, Yale? Actually, if I refuse to dress girly, someone about or bound to find out. There are really, there are really eighty percent chance that someone will find out. And if I dress like a girl, no one will recognize. Go along with Winter's plan. Okay, yeah, come on out. I don't want to. Please. Fine. I love this game. I stepped out of the changing room. Whoa. I can't believe I'm wearing a this. Hey, it's the best way to stop people uh, stop people recognizing you. You just look like an ultra sexy teenage girl. Not Yale, the quiet, quiet guy from Block Bloach Mystery. But I don't want to be an ultra sexy teenage girl. And I feel incredibly stupid. You don't look stupid. You look super cute. I'm not cute. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Everyone can see my boobs. They look huge <laughs> in this. Please. They look uh, huge no matter what you wore. <laughs> they're even bigger than mine. It's uh, crazy to think that, that someone who used to be a guy could end up this uh, up so busty. Yeah, tell me about it. I feel really embarrassed like this. Don't worry, it suits you. Can I please take it off? Surely there's something else I can wear. Come on, this is the perfect disguise. We're going to recognize you. Seriously. Nobody. <laughs> you don't look even uh, remotely like a guy. Take a good look in the mirror and then... There, what do you see? A stupidly hot looking girl in a ridiculous outfit. See? Can I just buy something else like some skinny jeans or tank top or something that be that be girly, right? Yeah, but this is more fun. Surely you like the feeling of looking sexy. Okay, I will wear this, but only once. If I'm still a girl tomorrow, I'm buying more suitable outfit. We'll see. As much as I hated to admit, the window was dry. Hiding in plain sight was a good idea. If anyone in my family saw me like this, they would think for they wouldn't think for a second that uh, about that it was actually me. <coughs> Otherwise, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of how much the cleavage I was showing. I felt incredibly exposed, and I was drawing a lot of attention. But to tell the truth, there was actually a part of me that was enjoying uh, all the attention I was getting. Only a really, really small part of me. So, what movie did you want to see again? Oh wait, I actually have to end the clip. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I also have to remember the first. Well, at least that was all I have for you and Bendy this time then, so hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!